Electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract electrons in a covalent bond. This is important to determine the polarity of individual covalent bonds in a molecule. And by evaluating a collection of covalent bonds in a molecule, the molecular polarity can be determined. Let's explain electronegativity trends in the periodic table. Electronegativity increases going up a group and going from left to right along a period, with fluorine being the most electronegative atom. In most general chemistry classes, students can draw an arrow going from the bottom left-hand corner to the top right-hand corner, indicating an increase in electronegativity. Let's answer why these trends exist. Electronegativity is dependent on a few factors, which we won't get into here, but one common theme is atom size. Larger atoms are lower on the periodic table because of increasing principal quantum number, which means valence orbitals, and thus valence electrons, are farther from the nucleus, and there is less pull or attraction from the nucleus. Atoms decrease in size going from left to right across the period, there are no new orbitals introduced going across a period, but there are more protons introduced in the nucleus going from left to right. Thus, there's a greater pool or attraction of the valence electrons. So why are differences in electronegativity important? Let's take the example of hydrogen fluoride, HF. Fluorine is farther to the right on the periodic table than hydrogen and more electronegative. There is a difference in electronegativity. Fluorine will pull the covalent bond or shared pair of electrons towards it. This results in a dipole moment. The electron density is uneven. Electrons are pulled closer to the fluorine. We can draw an arrow from the atom of less electron density toward the atom of more electron density, in this case, from hydrogen to fluorine. And we can call this bond a polar covalent bond. We can add a delta positive notation on hydrogen to indicate an area of less electron density and a delta negative notation near fluorine to indicate an area of high electron density. These are called partial positive and negative charges and not ions. This is an example of a diatomic molecule with one dipole moment. We can call this bond a polar covalent bond and conclude that HF is a polar molecule. For molecules containing more than one bond, we can evaluate each dipole to determine molecular polarity, which we'll discuss in our next video.